Hello guys, uh, it's Coin Hunting True again. Um, so, let's just say I meant to upload a video of my metal detecting finds from Sunday. Um, it was a two minute video. And for some reason, YouTube is pretty crazy on my computer. I don't know if it's up with your guys' too, but it takes, took, said it would take 218 minutes to upload a two minute video. So I'm like, heck no, I'm not going to do that. And I can't leave my computer on too long because the laptop and it overheats and I don't have three hours. Really, I mean, I usually upload my videos during night times and stuff and it's been overheating a lot, burning stuff lately. Burning pillows because I put a pillow on my lap and stuff when I type because it gets really, really hot and a lot of radiation and stuff and you don't want that going places. <laughs> um, so, either way, uh, I did another box of $100 in nickels and... I actually did uh, an extra $30, got it today. Today is uh, Thursday, and actually my last day of school for, oh, well, actually not my last day of school, but it's, um, I have a day off tomorrow, so that's good. Um, I also got right here, ignore that, uh, right here, $500 box of halves, and uh, only these two things here, no silver, sadly, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you my finds. Uh, I don't want to be talking too much of this video. Um, but this box was pretty crazy, for nickels at least. And the half dollar box was okay. And you see that right there is a find I found. It's a ring. And then there is a, uh, something I got, or my parents got the uh, bank when they were getting their cash back from paycheck or whatever, or cashing whatever in. And... Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started here. Um, I don't know if I'll be using the loop too much, but uh, first coin I found today is a 1938. Uh, sorry for the shadows. You're going to see one at the bottom. Uh, it's pretty well circulated. You can see that. Uh, yeah. I got 1939. This was actually my $30. I broke my streak of uh, 1939 every single box. Uh, I didn't get it in this last box, so I got in $30 in nickels that I got today. Uh, I got some 40s, a 40D, a 40S, 41, 41D, 44P war nickel. I didn't mount this because it's really, really circulated, but still I'm going to put it with all my silver. Uh, I'm probably not going to mount it though. Um, but yeah, I really worn, but still, 1944P war nickel. Haha. <laughs> was really happy when I found that. Uh, 1946, 47, bunch of 48s, don't find a bunch of 48s. I uh, got a nice, uh, I guess, semi key 8, 1948D. Got a 49, I believe that is, is 49, yeah, 49P. Uh, I got a 52s, few of them, nice 52D. Uh, mint mark is a very, very weak strike. I don't know if you can see it, maybe down there, I don't know. Hope my shadow isn't. Too bad, maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. Uh, I'll try to zoom. Yeah, there you go. That D is very, very weak. Seems typical on the 52 Ds though. Uh, so, whatever. Uh, a bunch of 53 Ds, no 53 plans or S's, sadly. Just Ds. 54 Ds, as usual. Um, 55 B. No 56s, so I got a bunch of 57 Ds. This one's like XF. Um, 58Ds, and some 59s, this one's pretty corroded, found that one today, I found the top one also, the 58Ds today. Um, and the main headlines of this video are basically these four coins here. Um, so first coin here was nearing like my last six rolls and I found it. It's 1963, camera's not picking it up but it has awesome luster like crazy luster um, the coins magazine has it listed at two hundred dollars and MS65 and this is about an MS65 coin um, so I don't believe that's right though I think it's like more like a ten dollar coin I don't know if the magazine screwed up or what but who knows um, in the best of all you would not be able to see that but here is a 1970s proof um, I might have to bring in tomorrow light to see it. Uh, hang on a second. Alright. 
don't want that interfering. Ouch. Um, so let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a proof. You might be able to see at the bottom, there's some proof camo reflection to it. It's full steps too, so just about full steps. So it's very hard to find a um, 70S proof considering there's 70S circulated coins. Um, okay, so the two headlines of the video basically are these two coins here. And also guys, sorry for the video lengthness, I'm trying to not make it a long video, even though I'm still pretty short right now. Um, so here's to start off with, I got a 1936 Buffalo. Uh, it's awesome, that was my first Buffalo I had in the box. Yes, see there's another one over there. Um, I freaked out when I saw this. I was really happy because I found a Buffalo every single box and I think I'm at what, four or five boxes so far? So I'm still on a streak. So I've got a 36 buff. My newest buff I've actually found. And I found a 35 buff just shortly afterwards and I freaked out again. And this was last night. Uh, I had box 4 to 5 up there. I don't know if it's which box I've gone on. I think I'm on 4. But yet again, I don't know. Um, so here's the half dollar I found today. Just uh, one of them. 2002D. Wasn't it released for circulation? Uh, there was only like 3.7 million minted or something like that. My first one of those. I got this awesome gem. And yes, literally gem 1973D. It doesn't have a single fingerprint on it. It's like brand new. Look at this. This back is just awesome. It's at least an MS67. At least. Maybe an MS68. I don't even know. I mean, it's awesome. It's like pristine. Um, could have been out of a mint set, I don't know. But it's just awesome. And I'll try to get a better view of it. It's it's amazing. It's it's like literally spotless. Um so here is my little ring. Um and I don't know, I'm probably just gonna throw it out when I uh uh done showing it, but I found a ring two days ago and this is it. I was walking into school because I get dropped off at school and on the sidewalk walking into the building there was this, the back entrance at least. I saw this little gold shiny. I didn't pick it up. I waited till after school since I get picked up also. So I waited and uh, was the first one out there on the pickup line and picked it up and uh, it's just a china garbage ring. It's already busted at the top so I mean I'm just probably going to get rid of it of course. So whatever. I don't even know what it's made of. It's probably made of aluminum, but I could be wrong. It could be made of lead, and I could be screwed. So, whatever. Um, and here we go. Um, yeah, this is the $20 bill. Uh, it's a Series JF 02840058 F6. And the bottom is uh, E4. And, um, Series 2009 close up on that uh, sorry my dad just sneezed might hear that in the background <laughs> uh, and he sneezed again <laughs> uh, sorry guys uh, it's E83 um, I don't know why the cereal is coming up sort of blue colored um, so yeah it's a star note um, in case you guys don't know what star notes are um, star notes are when the uh, I hope I'm getting this right here. Uh, I've said it for a long time, and I hope I didn't get anything confused up or anything. But um, it's when the uh, treasure or the uh, whatever, whoever prints the bills, um, the uh, gosh, Federal Reserve. Okay, that's the word I was looking for. When each Federal Reserve prints their bills, if they screw up on the bills, it's really really off center, ink's screwed up or whatever, they shred the bill and put a star next to the serial number as a significance to know that it was reprinted. Now, these bills are only worth 5 or $10 more, but this one's creased and uh, probably only worth about 5 bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just go sell it on eBay and make 5 bucks. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, or, I don't know, if I can trade with you guys, I might do that and include that into a trade or something like that. I don't know. Something silver-related, I don't know. 
maybe that for a Morgan dollar or something or an ounce of silver or something whatever I don't know um so yeah guys uh, that was my video there um and I hope to be getting my detecting video uploaded either before this video or after this video so uh make sure to leave a like and uh subscribe and make sure to comment and uh thank you very much and I uh, hope you enjoyed my little video here uh hope to get to another video next week or even possibly this weekend if the weather is nice to go detecting so whatever um all right guys uh thanks for watching and uh happy hunting uh see you later have a good weekend